Good morning! I hope that you are doing well on this awesome fall morning. Do you have a favorite season? Usually mine is summer, but I've recently moved to Nova Scotia and this year the weather has been so much sunnier in fall than in summer, so it's quickly moving up on my list. I'd love to hear about your favorite seasons where you live and why. Today we're here to discuss the D sound. Similar to the B sound, we've mentioned this one a few times in past videos, both when it comes to minimal pairs as well as when it comes to ending sounds. D can be a challenging sound for some learners because it is sometimes confused with its minimal pair T, as well as other sounds such as G. To help us improve our understanding and production of the D sound, we're going to focus on proper pronunciation of it here. Remember that the D sound is voiced, which means that it makes your vocal cords vibrate. In order to produce this sound correctly, start by blocking the air from leaving your mouth by placing your tongue on your gum ridge just above your upper teeth with the sides of your tongue touching along the sides of your upper teeth to block air from leaving your mouth. As you release the sound, it is slightly aspirated, meaning that you let a little puff of air out of your mouth when you release the sound. But remember, it is not nearly as aspirated as the T sound. D, as well as T, and several other sounds are referred to as stop consonants. This means that the flow of air is stopped while you are producing the sound, allowing a slight buildup of air in your mouth before a sudden release to produce the sound. As we just discussed, the air is stopped for the D sound at the front and top of your mouth. When the air is released for the D sound, we release less than we do for the T sound, hence the smaller amount of aspiration. One way to check if you are releasing too much air when you make the D sound is to hold your hand or a piece of paper in front of your mouth. You should not feel air on your hand if you are making the voice D sound or if you use the piece of paper, you should not see it move much. A familiar keyword that you can use for the D sound is the word dog. Let's try it together. Dog. D, 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 D. Great work. As you probably know by now, consonants can come at the beginning, middle, or end of a word, and D is no exception. Usually we see it spelt as a D, a double D, meaning two Ds, or an ED. However, keep in mind that the ED ending does have different pronunciations and therefore does not always make the D sound. Let's try some practice. Dad. Donkey. Do. Dice. Death. Dirt. Difference. Decent. Deal. Delight. India. Today. Student. Daddy. Order. Wedding. Video. Toddler. Childhood. Mindset. Band. Kind. 
card, gold, feed, loud, pond, held, mend, road. Excellent pronunciation. Let's try putting some words together into a defocused sentence. Daddy and the kind donkey developed a decent deal on the gold road while being videotaped by the dirty toddler. Daddy and the kind donkey developed a decent deal on the gold road while being videotaped by the dirty toddler. I hope that this video all about the letter D has helped you clarify some of the pronunciation of this sound. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for free and see you next time.